Can I take it down? Because that's funny. I want to keep that. No, take it down. We're putting it in the hospital. <laughs> Come on. Is that what that little hooligan is calling himself nowadays? Little buds. He was dating one of the regulars here, a bud named Minerva. Is it just me, or is there an apple working here? It was the Monsignor all along. Everybody and welcome back to Rock One Playthrough Part 11 now. Last time we left off, we were serving as a tea waiter at Monsignor Bud's party. We figured out that the thief that we were looking for was Monsignor himself. Uh, we were able to deliver the tea and create a contract for Kazuko at the Midnight Tea Shop. And then we started to come back. We were going to go to the dragon to get the ash that she's looking for for her plant. And kind of got a little sidetracked and we found this village. And I'm going to explore here a little bit. And then we'll head over to the dragon to try to get our ash and meet Kazuko and all that good stuff. So, door is locked. Of course it is. <clears throat> You're not a label! Shiki. Morning tea is good to me. Afternoon tea helps me think. Evening tea, you shouldn't drink because then you can't fall asleep. No, 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 no. Then you can't fall asleep. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, but you're awful cute. Just finishing up some new art. Ah, oh, those flowers up there always remind me of the time I fell asleep in a planter. That's... that's kind of adorable. I just finished inking hundreds of pages. I think my hand is about to fall off. <laughs> but it's okay, because I'm gonna sleep well tonight. And you know what they say? A good night's sleep is the secret to a good day. Is that what they say? Lanny's coffee, the best brew in all of Morizora's forest. Oh crap, now I want some coffee. <gasps> this thing's alive! I had a dream where I was a strange creature with long limbs that lived in a faraway land. It was much darker than this world, and the sky wept most of the year from lack of sunlight. It was hard to roll because I lacked this sleek body. <clears throat> well then. Okie dokie. What the hecky deck are you? Oh, you're a bird? Weird looking bird, friend. Hello, friend. Super rude. How are you? Days like these always make me feel like dancing. I was in the middle of planting radishes and then boom! The urge to dance was just so strong I had to start moving. Is this your bird? You know, this little one kind of just fell out of a tree one day and broke her wing. I've been taking care of her since then, but... I don't think she'll ever fly well enough to go back to the wild, so I've been looking for a good home for her. She's very caring, great with kids and folks who aren't feeling well. Would you like to adopt her? Uh, yeah, she'd be perfect for the hospital. Thank you so much. Birdie the Bird. I do not remember this place when I played through it. I don't know if this is like an expansion, because I think the game has received some updates since I played it like a hundred years ago but um i don't know maybe i just didn't find this place please take good care of her for me i will i love birds 60 living on the edge sweeping up the plant paths sweeping in a danger is a dangerous activity you know is it you don't believe me last week i was sweeping and i turned around and tripped on my broom Hit the ground hard, I did. Oh man, that's terrible. You think that's all? When I was laying on my side, a goat came out of nowhere and rammed me in the stomach. We don't have goats around here. And then, I realized that in the midst of the goat attack, my broom had gotten knocked into the river, so I jumped in after it. Near drowned, I did. This water is like three feet deep. 
So now you know, now you know. Professor Yoshi, I like you. Let's be friends. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of labels. I can't talk to all of you. Grand Marshal Moose Rider? Kilo Alpha November, oops. Sorry, I was just practicing. Come to me when you need any help with flying vehicles, special fighting moves, or maple syrup. Interesting. So you found our secret hideout. We'd be willing to sell you a rather rare painting, that is if you're willing to part with some of your gold. He doesn't need any more gold. Well, what do you say? 40 gold for a very rare painting, Monsignor Bud? Yeah, okay. Why not? In the end, everyone gives me gold. <laughs> this crystal shrimp is the best. Crystal shrimp. Are you looking for help with martial arts? Or do you need help troubleshooting issues with mechanical gear? If so, let me go get my goggles. I, I don't. Oh my gosh, is that a turtle up there? That's a big ass turtle. I've been working on a new song for us to all sing while we're out on missions. It's a giant turtle. Tomorrow I'm going to take everyone on a morbid scavenger hunt. Okay. I just got 12 new baby chickens the other day. They make me so proud. I love chickens. I love turtles. I love all animals, in fact. So much more than folks like Dean or Poku. Please don't make me heal. I much prefer to run into the middle of a fight and deal damage to everyone at the same time. Okay. Hey folks. Hi guys, welcome to the Liebel Protection Agency. You must be new recruits. Not really. Most of the time we're busy fighting off attacks against the Liebel Village, but we work hard and we play hard. Every now and then I like to put on my superhero sidekick costume and do choreographed dance routine. Ah, oh, those were the days. I thought you hated my dancing. Only when it's on my roof 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hey, can someone pass the pork rinds? The crunch helps me stay awake during our long night raids. That's certainly interesting. Hello. Kawaii. My main purpose here is to help others become stronger in battle, but every now and then I enjoy a good story. Boy, I've got some good stories for you. I've been on a hell of an adventure. This watermelon. Can I eat this? No? Okay, fine. Just thought I'd check. Ooh, where am I? Door is locked. Can I jump down this well? This well looks inaccessible. Dang. I can't jump down it. Sad day. Oh, so that's how they connect. Well, now I know. Cool. Um, so let's go ahead and go in here. Oh my gosh. Look at that dragon. That's flipping cool. Hello. Stormy, what brings you to my domain? Whoa. What are you staring at, child? I'm sorry, it's just I've never seen a real dragon before. Well, that's because we're not very common around these parts. You're so cool! <laughs> yes. Tell me, child, what is it that you need? What do you do here? I'm a water dragon, so it's my job to regulate the waterways and clouds. I try to keep everything in balance and make sure the forest gets the water it needs. Well, that's pretty cool. Do you have dragon ash? I can make dragon ash, if that's what you mean. I am a dragon, after all. How do you make it? Is it like shedding skin? <laughs> Is it hard to do? You're just full of questions, aren't you, child? Sorry. It's quite alright. 
Dragon ash is the byproduct of dragon fire. Of course, we all have different kinds of fire. Mine is really more like ice. It's not difficult to do, however. Creating fire requires a lot of concentration. And your natural element, mine being water, of course, must be in balance. Oh, I see. Unfortunately, if you haven't noticed, things around here have not been in balance lately. Besides the increase in negative energy coming from the envoy, I can sense that something's blocking the flow of water. If something isn't done, the whole forest could go into a massive drought. That's terrible. I know. Hmm. Maybe we could help clear the way clear away whatever's blocking the water. If we did that for you, would you make us some dragon ash? Huh. <laughs> you really want that dragon ash, don't you? It's for our friend Kazuko. She said it would help her flower bloom. Oh, is that right? Kazuko certainly does know a thing or two about gardening. She's trying to grow a hika hikari bana, isn't she? Yes, how did you know? I'm gonna have to practice that word because I can't say it. <laughs> Every time I see it, I'm like, no, not this. Oh, a dragon knows many things. Okay, then, if you clear the waterways, I'll make you some dragon ash for Costco. Thank you. Take this. If there are boulders blocking the flow of water, you should be able to strike it with this. S received some scale flint. Interesting. But be careful, scale flint is known to cause large reactions. To get to the water blockage, you might try going through that door up there. Good luck. I want to know where this goes. Oh. Oh. I know where I am. Okay. Cool. Oh, it's the stinking envoy again. Okay, here goes nothing. Run! Phew, that was close one. Great job. That wasn't too hard. I was, I'm actually kind of surprised that it wasn't harder. Um, I feel like they... Although, I, I guess I did do a lot of running around for the Monsignor, didn't I? We did it! My sources tell me that you got the job done. We did! There were boulders blocking the water, but we cleared them out. Impressive. Well, now that things are in order, I think I should hold up my end of the bargain. One moment, please. Well then, there you go. Got dragon ash. See to it the Cuscro grows that flower to its fullest potential. It means a lot to her, you know. Tell me, child. Do you know why Kazuko is growing that? Uh, I'm not sure. Here in the forest, the Hikari Bana is a symbol of great love. They say it has the power to bring loved ones together. To heal, to bond, to help find someone who has been lost. Oh. Perhaps Kazuko is trying to remind her husband of their love, for she feels he has forgotten her. He hasn't forgotten her. He mentions her all the time. Yes, but she doesn't know that. They haven't spoken in ages. They haven't? Kisaburo's sickness has weakened his mind. He's disoriented and he can't tell day from night. His speech is nonsensical. It's amazing that he's able to communicate with you, child. I see. That's why it's a noble thing you're doing. Helping someone who cannot reach out themselves. Good luck. And may you find your own path to happiness as well. Thank you, Stormy. All right. 
let's go see Kazuko. Thanks so much for your help. We shared your tea. How did it go? It went great. They all loved. Well, here he be. Welcome. And to what do I owe the pleasure of a visit from Rupert? My lady, the Monsignor sends his highest regards. He loved the sample of your tea. Of the tea you gave him. We all did. That's wonderful to hear. If it's all right with you, the Monsignor would like to place a rather large order within the coming week. Of course. I will begin preparations immediately. You're always welcome to join us for afternoon tea in the Skylands. As soon as I have free time, I would love to join all of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your help. I'm more confident now that folks around the forest will know of the Midnight Tea Shop. We got the Dragon Ash. Oh, you got the Dragon Ash. Thank you so much. Well then, I think it's time for me to visit Kisaburo at the Hot Springs. Now that the Hikaribana has some dragon ash to help it bloom, perhaps I can finally bring it to him as a gift. Oh, he's gonna love that. Actually, on second thought, why don't we all go together? I'm sure that my husband will want to personally thank you both for helping us out with the shop. That sounds great. All right, then let's go. Oh snap, he's gone. Oh goodness. Where did he go? Kisaburo. Kisaburo, where are you? I'm so sorry, you two. I was hoping we could all spend some time together with him, but I'm honestly not sure where he went. I'm going to look for him, so please feel free to do whatever you'd like. Thanks again for all your help. Are we gonna get a door opening up somewhere? Yup, called it. <laughs> Mom, look. You found another door. Sure did. Where do you think it leads? Hmm. Only one way to find out. Let's go, let's go. This is blinding. Um. Oh. I'm Kasuko. Okay. Good morning, Kazuko. If you're looking for your husband, I believe he's back in his room. Oh, hey, Kazuko. Thanks for drawing with me last time. That was so much fun. Hi, Kazuko. It's good to see you again. Those homemade cream puffs you brought last time were... Out of this world! <laughs> Kazuko, the tips you gave really worked. My little lemon tree is healthier than ever. Oh, are you looking for Kisabaru? I think they brought him back to his room about an hour ago. Kisabaru, can you tell me what year it is? I don't have time for this. I have to fix this order before my supervisor gets back. Kisaburo, I want you to try to focus on my voice. Can you tell me where you are right now? What kind of question is that? I have to fix the power lines. I think we're gonna have to run some more tests. I'll set something up with the lab this afternoon. Sounds good. Are you just gonna keep talking to my- taking my tools away from me? Hello, dear. I brought you some of your favorite snacks. I thought it might help to... Who are you? 
Unauthorized people aren't supposed to be here. It's dangerous. Oh, Kisaburo. It's me. It's your Kazuko. Did the supervisor send you? Are you here to cover the night shift? Kisaburo. Do you remember this flower? We really don't have much time. If I don't get the power back up, the boss is not going to be happy. You don't remember, do you? Oh, that's tough. I wonder how long he's been like that. Hey, Kisaburo. You've certainly been visiting a lot of these a lot these days. Who me? I uh Cuz of that cutie right there. <laughs> I just really like the bread. Sure, sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Miss Kazuko, these desserts are lovely. Thank you. Please let me know if you need anything else. Stop it, Nobu. She'll hear you. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> A set of clothes that aren't monocolor? Go talk to her. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> I thought I was in control for a second. I was not. <laughs> I, um... Oh, hello, Kisaburo. Kazuko. Oh, wow, I didn't know you were working today. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, um, we have some new red bean manju if you'd like to try them. Oh, I'd love to. Kisaburo? Oh, sorry, I just... I just... I brought you a gift. Aw, a gift? That's so nice of you. Okay, close your eyes. All right, you can open them. Oh, Kisaburo, how lovely. A beautiful flower. For a beautiful lady. Smooth, dude. Oh, you're such a smooth talker. I'm not just being smooth. So smooth. <laughs> We're all heckling him. I really mean it. I would bring you flowers until we were old and gray and couldn't remember things anymore. Is that so? This man went and jinxed himself. He went and jinxed himself from the get-go. I'm certain of it. Give him a break, Kazuko. The poor guy was pacing outside for 20 minutes before he came in here. No, boo! Aw, you poor thing. You must be so thirsty. I'll bring you some tea to go with that sir. Well, I definitely can't say no to that. Of course you can't. You can't say no to a pretty face. Kisaburo, dinner's ready. I just put the baby down for her nap so we can have a bit of quiet time. Quiet time. Kazuko. You only get one day off, but you still work so hard in the garden. What are you planting out here? Is it those radishes you got from the... I, uh... Did you plant all these? Well, I... Yep. Those flowers. Do you like them? That's the flower you gave me when I worked at the bakery. Well, I hope he's given you flowers since then. Oh, Kisaburo, of course I like them. I can't believe you remembered. I 
I'm yours, Kazuko. I always will be. The flowers are in bloom again. Aww, oh, this must be their kids. Mom! Are you still here? Oh, Mom, you must be exhausted. You need to go home and get some rest. The doctors will call you if anything urgent happens. I'm not leaving. Then at the very least, will you please eat something? I will. We're going to go turn in some of the paperwork. Mom. It's going to be okay. I know, I just need some time with him is all. Call us if you need anything. I will. Oh, Kisaburo, is there any of you left in there? I brought you some water to help you cool down. Um, I think he needs more than water. You've been working so hard on your garden that... He's a burrow. He's a burrow. Can you hear me? Kazuko. Get some rest, my dear. I think the baby's crying. It might be time to change his diaper. What? The baby. Don't you hear that? Honey. Our babies are all grown up. Right. All grown up. Try to get some sleep. I think collapsing causes dementia. Kisaburo. Kisaburo, where are you, dear? Oh, yikes. Kisaburo, what's going on in there? They're closing in on us. Kisaburo, what are you doing? Hey, you, why are you still here? We've been dismissed. Can't you see we're under attack? Kisa Pearl, please get off the table. You're gonna hurt yourself. What's going on in here? The supervisor all gave us all orders to leave. We have to go now. Dad, what are you doing? Go get help. I'll try to stop him from breaking anything else. Mom, it's not safe for you. I'll be fine. Just go. Ma'am, I know you want to care for your husband, but... At this point, he's at a dan he's a danger to you. I'm not afraid of my husband. Mom, you can't do this by yourself. Rico's right. Dad needs constant supervision. It's just too much for you, Mom. When he could still talk with me, he told me that if he got worse, he'd prefer to stay in his own home. I just want to honor that. Mom, I don't mind staying up all night. I can prepare all the meals in advance and make sure to... Mom! Dad doesn't even remember you. I'm sorry, Mom. It's just, this is better for both of you if Dad doesn't stay here anymore. I know. You're right. Okay. We can move him in the morning. Kisaburo. What's it like in there? Inside your head, I mean. Are you scared? 
Do you feel any pain? Do you still remember anything about yourself or about your life before all this happened? Please, tell me you remember something. Dementia doesn't really work that way. Anything. I could have sworn that door was boarded up when I got here. Kasuka? to find him. Kisaburo. Oh, Kisaburo, I was so worried. I looked everywhere for you. I... Oh my goodness. Did you plant all of these? Well, I... Yep. <laughs> oh, Kisaburo. Do you like them? Of course I do. Receive Mori no Kokoro Part 3. I think that was probably the easiest part we've ever got. I just wanted to thank you both again. Times have been tough, but I'm going to try my best every day. We have a saying in the world of tea, one time, one meeting. Basically, this could be the first and last time we ever meet. The first and last chance, the first and last moment. So let's make it the best it can be. Take care, my friends.
Mom, there's a door in the tea shop. I wonder if this one leads back to the hospital. Let's go check it out. Well, hello! Doody doo. The big pipe's connected to the small pipe. The small pipe's connected to the big drain. The big drain's connected to the. Oh, hey guys! Hi, Yuma! What is that thing? Oh, you mean this thing? It's a water pump. They used them to drain the water back when the lower floors in the hospital got flooded after the well. You know. Yeah. There's a few more around here. I'm trying to find them. Why are you looking for them? I like you, kid. So I'm gonna be real with you. We both know there's something special about this place. I've seen you watering random plants, making the beanstalks grow, talking to bears and water people. How did you know? These worlds are connected. You know this as well as I do. These devices, they seem to drain more than just the water that was that used to be here in the hospital. Why don't you try it? Maybe it'll open up some new paths for you on the other side. Oh, I know where this opens up. Uma. Yeah, kid? Why do you keep helping me? Even after I... Well... After I accused you of doing bad things that you didn't even do. Kid, I don't hold that against you. I would have thought those things about me too if I were you. We've all been given our own challenges. Sometimes while we're working them out, our paths will collide with others who are working on challenges of their own. We help each other more than we know. It's time for me to go now. I think my time's running out. But you hang in there, okay? Okay. Turn on the water pump to start draining the water. Y'all. I wonder what that did. <laughs> well, we'll have to figure out next time. Because we're... All of those cutscenes have really put us over time. <laughs> Alright, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you tune in next time for part 12 when we go figure out who's next. Who we have to help. Maybe visit Kisaburo and his wife and see how things are with them. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Do what you want. Bye-bye.